you know, I woke up at like four in the morning today, actually a little earlier than four. I woke up at like 345 in the morning and I am tired today. Even with coffee, I don't think I have the patience for this. So here's what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to read you this tweet and this post and I'm going to show you some of the responses, aka the giant ratio going on here right now. And uh, then I'll probably leave it there and leave the opinion stuff to you guys in the comments. See what you all will be saying about this. So without further ado, let's take a look. We have another voice actor here. And uh, here's what she has to say. Oh, but first, let me show you how this is going. Tweet has 757 likes versus 4,400 uh, comments and 7,200 retweets. It's not going well. You can see the retweet with comments are people pretty much just mocking this voice actress. I mean, it goes on and on and on. Even Grums is getting involved here. If you don't know Grums, he often comments on, uh, you know, news going on in this industry, so to speak. Usually the gaming industry, sometimes the VA anime scene as well. So he even comments on that. And now let's take a look at the tweet, He's, you know, showing you some examples here. Tweet reads, if you're pirating anime, please stop. Your excuses are invalid. Please learn the concept of, quote, then you don't get to have it, unquote. You are not entitled to consume it merely because it exists and it is in your reach. That's some colonizer nonsense. Oh, but that wasn't enough. They had to write, you know, this whole other essay too. Let's uh, take a look at this nonsense. Here we go, guys. Another quote. It's not available in my country. How am I supposed to watch it? She says, you're not supposed to watch it. It's specifically not available to you. Okay, I said I wasn't going to comment much on this, and I'm going to try not to, but that's just absurd. You don't know how this industry works. You don't know how licensing works at all, how the IP holders... You don't know how any of that works, apparently, if you're going to make that statement, but okay. Another quote. It's an old title. She says, I bet there's a VHS copy on eBay somewhere, or it's lost to you, the impermanence of media. Another quote. My parents won't pay for it. She says, so then you pay for it. Again, a subscription is less than $10 a month. Oh, are you, you really want to, <laughs> do you really want to pull that argument? It's only $5 a month. That's a quote. I'm quoting that Twitch. What was her name? I, you know, I don't, I don't want to even give her name out. That Twitch, annoying that Twitch streamer, entitled Twitch streamer from like three months ago. You sound like her. That's not a compliment. <laughs> Another quote. Subscriptions are expensive. She says, no, they're not. Again, it's the same argument. The price is variable depending on people, people's circumstances and their finances and all of this. This is such a bad take. <laughs> she says, no, they're not. And anime is a luxury. You do not require it to survive and it is not inhuman to deny you access to it. You can also watch some for free with ads. <laughs> okay, what's really going on here is this VA probably, you know, doesn't really get a lot of work and she wants, she wants a Funimation role. So this is how she's trying to go about it. In my humble opinion, that's what's going on here. Another quote, but I don't, want to watch ads but you can't sit through 60 seconds of ads really broadcast tv uh breaks are longer otherwise you need to pay for the privilege of ad free uh and there's a, a second page quote i buy merch see she says cool buy access to the show too it's less expensive and of course she has to also add politics into her bad take because you know funimation vas gotta always shove politics in our faces they always had to do that right so she says a quote but PC, Femme, politics of dubs ruins the show. She says, no, it doesn't. You're just uh, a jerk. But the word she uses is not jerk. It's more explicit. How many times have you heard someone yell YOLO or yeet or mention a meme in a localization? It's done to make it accessible and relevant, not to be transliteral. Uh, people want it to be translated as accurately as possible. They don't want memes in there. They don't want memes from people that don't even know how to meme, especially for one. That, 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 that's a really good point. For one, we don't want memes in the material unless the original material had the meme in there. Number two, the people at the top of the industry like Funimation and them, you all can't meme worth jack you know what. So that's the other problem too. <laughs> I'm kidding a little bit on the second point. The main point is obviously don't change the IP from how it originally is. The second point's a little bit of a joke, you know, just kind of mocking how bad these people are at memeing. So, wow. And then she says, by the way, next liberal... Femi witch coven meeting is at, you know, some smug, sarcastic little joke or something. You people are so weird, man. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with all these funny VAs. 763 likes versus 7,300 retweets and 4,400 comments. That's a terrible look. Her apology post also getting ratioed super hard. 69 likes. Oh, she's not going to be happy about that, I'm sure. Versus 206 retweets and 422 comments. I'm going to leave it there. This was fun. I look forward to seeing what you all will say in the comments below. Catch ya next time.